welcome to the Life After Her podcast with yours truly, Nicole and Sweeney. If you're watching or listening to this episode for the first time, I'm an author, podcaster, and empowerment speaker. I recently self-published my second fiction novel as well as a 60-day devotional for my readers. You can purchase a copy off of my website at nicolesweeney.org or on Amazon. Today's episode, episode number three, is entitled, Where Do I Begin? Journey is finally out of jail. She gets picked up by her best friend, Izzy, and she is in total disarray. She does not know where to begin to pick up the pieces of her life, and she feels stuck. She has no idea where to begin. She feels hopeless. She feels stuck. And she feels so confused. This particular season in Journey's life, she had to endure. There was absolutely no way of getting around this season in her life. She did not know how to become unstuck and she had no idea where to begin picking up the pieces in her life. So where does one begin? I wanna give you three things that God wants you to understand when you don't know where to begin. The first thing that God wants you to understand when you don't know where to begin is never return to the people, the place, or the thing that had you bound in the first place. Journey could have easily went back to Case after she was released from jail. She had a pretty decent setup. She didn't have to worry about where she was staying, food, or clothing. It was comfortable for Journey. But in order for her to become unstuck and to make better changes in her life, she could not return back to Case. She couldn't return back to Case because that wasn't God's best for her life. She was comfortable and limited all at the same time, but she didn't know where to begin. She just knew she could not return to that environment or that relationship. Have you ever experienced a situation in your life where you just didn't know where to begin and you knew you just could not go back to where God brought you out of? That is where Journey was at. She refused to go back. And God doesn't want you to go back either. So never return to the people, the place, or the thing that God removed you from. The second thing that God wants you to understand when you don't know where to begin is that sometimes God will intervene in your life in a major way to remove you from an experience or a situation. Just like Journey, he sometimes will cause a major unexpected event to happen in your life that you are totally unprepared for and ill-equipped for to remove you from a situation or to get your attention. Similar to Journey, she was outside arguing with Case and Gracie and things blew up. And this was probably one of the worst experiences Journey could have faced in her life. But God needed to put that situation into her life in order for her to get uncomfortable and to remove her from the situation. I know. It sometimes will hurt. When God interjects and puts a major life experience in our lives to get our attention or to remove us from a situation and experience a job or a relationship, he will not do it in a way that we are second guessing it or that is gentle. Sometimes he has to literally pull us out of the situation. And although it's hurtful, it always, always, always is for our better. God never removes us from a situation where he doesn't have something way better for us down the line. 
And so if you are in a season where you are questioning God's doing and trying to figure out why God did something a certain way, just know that it's all going to work out for your good. It may not feel good, but it is going to work out for your good. And the third thing that God wants you to understand when you don't know where to begin is that he can fix and solve anything. Any situation, any circumstance, any hurt, any trauma, any drama that's going on in your life, he can solve and fix it. What exactly does that mean? I'm sure you're asking. That means that he knows what you need. He knows how to bless you. He knows how to fix your brokenness. And he knows how to allow the right people in your space. So trust him. Trust him when he snatches you out of a situation and it's hurtful. Just know that it is for your good. God will not remove you from a situation to cause you even more harm. He will do it knowing that he has something so much better lined up for you in the future. So trust him. So let's do a quick recap. The three things that God wants you to understand when you don't know where to begin is number one, he never wants you to return to the people, the place, or the things that had you stuck in the first place. Number two, sometimes God will intervene in a major way to pull you out of an experience or situation. And number three, God wants you to understand that he can fix and solve anything. And today's affirmation is, even the darkest parts of our journey are forgivable, repairable, and usable. Nothing is useless. God has the power to use it all. Thank you all for tuning in. I look forward to you checking out next week's episode. And I hope that you have a great day. Remember that God is proud of you.